Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. Today we're talking about plant nutrient deficiencies. How to figure out if you have one, how to figure out what nutrient you're deficient in, and how to deal with it, how to get it fixed, specifically if you're working with Nectar for the Gods. Now today is part four of a four-part series. This is the final one, and today we're talking about uh, if you're pushing real hard on your plants, you're using a lot of Herculean harvest, you're putting some bloom chaos in there to make this, make this go stronger, you've pushed real hard, and you've actually created efficiency from uh, what you're doing. That's what we're talking about today. Tim McCormick from Culture Biologics is our expert we got in here. We did a video with him. That's what you're gonna watch right now. Watch it right now, I'll talk to you after. Okay, so we, we've been talking about deficiencies and we covered how to tell if it actually is a deficiency or if you got some lockout or something like that going on, some symptoms and cures for deficiencies and then to kind of a practical uh, what you do to do those, to fix those day to day, how that goes. But the thing, the last thing we talked about was if you make your own deficiency by pushing really hard and you want to push hard to grow a plant to get sp certain specific aspects of it but you've gone so hard that you've uh you've sucked everything out of your soil and a perfect example of that is using herculean harvest which you actually use and using the bloom chaos and this is just uh bringing up so much stuff that you don't have any stuff in there is that what's going on what's the situation with that how do these work together what's kind of a primer on using bloom chaos without um, making it worse instead of better sure so uh, first and foremost thing to understand about bloom chaos it's going to tell the plant to pull up calcium along with calcium it's going to want lots of amino acids okay so the that would be the, uh, the, the you want to use? Yep. okay and then uh you know you can use uh, some demeters as well these okay. are your, your tools for bloom chaos really um now what's, what your main driver is going to be the herculean harvest Okay. Um, it's going to be what the bloom chaos is telling to pull up for the most part. Okay. So I just just so I, I'm still going to be using my Medusa's magic, my Gaia mania. Oh yeah. And my, my Zeus juice, maybe my Kraken, maybe my whatever, and yeah. my Olympus up to set my pH. But how does this all work together with that? So uh, naturally, the plant is going to want to take in calcium. So you need sure. to build the reserves inside the calcium. So you have calcium in soil. Then you have calcium in the leaves that store inside the plant. That's like its reserves, that's a storage hub, that's a storage facility, that's where it okay. keeps all of its calcium. Now Bloom Chaos is gonna tell the plant, hey, all that, all that calcium inside your uh -huh. leaves, uh -huh. let's put them straight into the flowers. Let's put it in all the new growing tips. And push it to gonna, the newest spot. Let's, let's push it wherever we can to the newest spot. And okay. so it's going to tell the plant to push it there. Then the plant's not going to have any calcium unless you're constantly replacing the reservoirs of calcium into the plant. So okay. that's why you need a specific ratio between bloom chaos to Herculean harvest. Because okay. for, for uh, uh, however much Herculean harvest you're going to use, or Herculean harvest you're going to use, the bloom chaos can tell it to pull up more calcium. Okay. So the norm, the normal ratio we like to keep is a six to one. Six parts Herculean harvest to one parts bloom chaos. Okay. Whether that be 30 mils of Herc to five mils of bloom chaos, or it be 60 mils of Herc to 10 mils of bloom chaos, you need a six to one ratio. And that's because the plant, the bloom chaos can tell the plant to use about six parts of calcium or six parts of Herc to the one part you're adding of, of bloom chaos. I guess so what you're, so within reason, like I, you, you can push this, if you got one plant and you got a million gallons of this, you can push hard, 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 hard. You, there's practical considerations if you're, if you're growing in a greenhouse with 100 plants or whatever, that you can only do so much, it just doesn't make sense to do more than that. Right. But for the most part, to, uh, to a point, you can push this as hard as makes sense to you for your situation, mm -hmm. using this as the speedometer, as the, as, the, as the gas pedal. Right. Okay, so now let's just say, so I, I, I decide I wanna do, you know, I wanna do 60 of this, so what am I gonna do this? 10 mils of that. 10 mils of We don't just shove 10 mils from zero mils into the plant. Uh, there's a, the, the trick to bloom chaos is, is using it as a gradient okay. and not just shoving 10 mils of the plant at once. You want to make sure one, so before you even use bloom chaos, the first rule of thumb uh -huh. is to make sure you have three or four feedings of Herculean harvest. I'm priming the pump. You need. I got you, some in there. You need okay. to fill the gas tank first before you hit the pedal to the metal. And not just my soil, but also in my plant. In your plant. Okay. So like not only does your soil need to have some calcium in it, but your plant needs to be able to get calcium in it. It needs to have oh, okay. calcium in it before you start putting on the bloom chaos. And the okay. number one issue I see at bloom chaos is people using bloom chaos too early. Okay. Not having and enough too much in, in, okay. in there and, and too much bloom chaos. So you would use none at some point 
And then you would, it, so when you start do using it though, would you slowly ramp it up as well? I, I start with one mil per gallon. Okay. My next feeding, I use two mils a gallon. Then my next feeding, I use three mils a gallon. My next feeding, I use four mils a gallon. My next feeding, I use five mils a gallon. That slowly introduces it into the plant. And as you slowly introduce it, you get to the, the six to one ratio. So I could be, you know, I'm using 30 mils of Herc and then I'm finally one, two, three, four, five mils of Bloom Chaos. And as okay. soon as I reach that 30 to five mark, uh -huh. I go 30, I go 45 mils, I need to go up to seven and a half mils of Bloom Chaos. Okay. I go to 60 mils of Herc, I need to go to 10 mils of Bloom Chaos. But just stair step it incrementally all the way up. Okay, one thing, so would I, while I'm going one, two, three, four, five here, would I be going 30, 30, 30, 30, oh, 45, yeah. 60? So I'm still, I'm pushing this harder than this at the start. At the start. And then I'm bringing this on. And as I bring this on, as this comes up, I start bringing this way 30, up. 30, 30, 30, 30 of Herc and late veg is going to build all the reservoirs at 30 mils a gallon. And okay. then your Bloom Chaos you use is going to start depleting those reservoirs. So you need to keep replenishing okay. your reservoirs with Herculean Heart. Okay. What other, is there, uh, you got these out here. What yes. other things would I be using in concert with this? I've decided that I'm gonna go for it with my Bloom Chaos. Mm -hmm. And I know, holy moly, I gotta push my heart too. What else? So you're gonna be using the, the basic line, right? The Medusas, the guy, both have calcium in mm -hmm. it. Then you're using the Herc and the Zeus and that's your Spartan. Sure. Now we're having introducing Bloom Chaos and we need more sources of calcium. We need more sources of amino acids. Okay. So this is why we have Demeters and Athenas. Okay. Demeters is an excellent source of calcium uh -huh. and Athenas is an excellent source of amino acids. What the plant craves uh -huh. in flower or during the process of Bloom that Bloom Chaos is facilitating inside the plant uh -huh. is amino acids and calcium. So we use Demeters and Athenas as our other additional tools to the herc to okay. provide the calcium loads and provide the amino acids loads amino acid oh, loads okay. so we can make sure bloom chaos works effectively it's it can cause problems but bloom chaos really isn't that big of a deal and i encourage everybody to use it as long as you use it the right way and you know how to use it so if you were doing spartan you're going um uh, medusa gaia zeus and herc uh -huh. you would not use bloom chaos correct that's not enough calcium for the bloom okay. chaos to so use it properly you go on to the greek and be using your uh, your mm -hmm. demeters your thingas and your crack and that sort of thing exactly and that's when you start using the your bloom chaos because it's not just one calcium source, it's about having multiple calcium sources and providing the res and filling the reserves of the calcium inside the plant at all times. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's say I'm doing my Greek and I'm doing it as specified, and I decide, no, I'm gonna push harder on my Bloom Chaos and push my Herc. Would I bump up my other nutrients as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, to an extent, of course, you don't need more Zeus because Zeus uses Zeus just, Zeus, what, it is, Zeus, yeah. just what humic acid. Yeah. You're not uh -huh. gonna get too much benefit yeah. out uh -huh. of that. Uh -huh. But you probably need to bump up your Gaia a little bit. You probably need to bump up your Medusa a little bit just to set, just to satisfy the nutritional demands of the plant. Sure. Okay. As the plant builds more builds more weight or builds more metabolism uh -huh. from the Bloom Chaos, the plant's gonna need more food in order to sustain itself. It's like a, an athlete. Okay. And you're not going to feed an athlete on two two meals a day of scraps, right? Right, you need sure, to feed sure, an athlete sure. six meals a day of some yeah, high-carb, 2,000-calorie meals. Yeah, okay. And so the more we use Bloom Chaos, the more you start supercharging the metabolism of the plant, the more food the plant's going to need, just like an athlete. Okay. How does Athena's fit into that, the amino acids? So amino acids build, so amino acids build the proteins, okay. and proteins are what the plant uses for energy. So okay. if you're causing the plant to have bigger, better metabolism through Bloom Chaos or causing the plant to, to suck in and use more elements faster, okay. you're gonna, the plant's going to need more energy. The plant gets that energy sure. from the proteins it makes. Okay. okay. Um, so when Bloom Chaos gets sucked up, the calcium gets sucked up with it, um, then at that point, the calcium gets deposited in all the new cells. Okay. In order for the plant to have a faster metabolism, which creates new cells faster, okay. we need to have more precursors of the cells being generated faster. Okay. The precursors to the cells generating faster, allowing the metabolism to go, 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 right. get okay. the huge yields you uh -huh. want, okay. is amino acids and calcium. Okay. So if we provide the precursors to all the new cells that the plant's gonna make from the faster metabolism, uh -huh. from the faster use of calcium, okay. we need Athenas and Demeters to make sure we have the proper calcium and amino acid load to go into the plant. Okay, so I'm thinking this is my calcium. Mm -hmm. What is the Demeter situation? How does that fit in? Because it is calcium as well. It's, is it a different calcium? How different. does it fit? It, it, it's still another it's still another form of calcium. Okay. So you get extra calcium sure. involved. Uh -huh. um, it's not as much as bone meal. It's just a, a different type of calcium, and it has different amino acids and has different uh, uh, ingredients inside of it to make sure all the calcium goes into the plant. It's, you can put calcium there. It doesn't mean it goes into the plant. It's diversity to, to push even harder by getting different sources that might be able to uptake to give it a, a, wide, a, a broader spectrum of calcium. Exactly. And, okay. and, and that being said, 
you add the Kraken, you add the Tritons, you add the Persephones, you add um, any of the other calcium ingredients or calcium products from, from Nectar, they're all right. different sources of calcium that adds to the calcium reserves. Like I said, it's not oh, about okay. one form of calcium. It's about diversifying your forms of calcium to make sure that you have more than enough calcium for the Bloom Chaos to use. Because okay. the biggest problems come uh -huh. in from Bloom Chaos when you have not enough calcium. Sure. That tells the plant to then pull up all this nitrogen and potassium, and then you have a nitrogen toxicity. You have potassium toxicity. And so oh, it, it's going to okay. tell the plant to pull something up. So if and you it don't can't have get enough calcium. It's like, I'll, get, I'll take whatever I'll take, I can. I'll take whatever and I can. that's when you get the potassium and nitrogen. Even though it knows it's not good for it, it's, it's just trying to survive. Exactly. It's okay. going to need some elements to fill the void. And so that's okay. why you, you run into problems with bloom chaos whenever you don't have enough calcium. Okay. So just make sure your calcium loads are constant and your calcium loads are heavy. And blue chaos works fine every single time. Okay. But you have one day, one day where you just didn't put enough calcium on there, the plant's gonna claw down and get really sad and get the the, the BK claw. Okay. Blue chaos claw okay. And look really, really sad. So at that point, if you do have a negative effect, a negative result with the uh -huh. blue chaos because you didn't have enough calcium uh -huh. or pH got out of swing, back off the bloom chaos, completely get rid of it. Get your back pH, off to zero. Oh, back off to zero. Get your pH and part per million back in line in your soil, because more than likely you, it's just too hungry and you didn't feed it. So okay. feed it a couple so times. So I see low PPM numbers. Oh yeah. What pH would I see? You use Low or high? Uh, it usually stays in the middle if you're doing a good. So that's that's not a, yeah. Unless you have some type of like lock hour. So, so I see it with a dearth of, of nutrients through my PPM numbers being yep. very low, being be zero, very 100, low. 100, 200. Oh yeah, 150, 75. You'll okay. see the plant completely deplete out the soil. And okay. at that point you go, okay, I back off the blue chaos and you just feed, 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 feed. Then after you get to the point where you stabilize your part per million in your soil, then add the bloom chaos again. Okay. But you can kick right back on it as long as your soil and your slurries are in check. That's why slurries are number one most important thing for bloom chaos. It's number one important thing for deficiencies. It's the number one important thing to make sure you always have eyes on your soil. Okay. Let me ask you this. So on my tea day, I'm using I'm using my easy teas. Uh -huh. um, am I not getting enough calcium that day because I'm not calcium up? Would you put some? Would you be doing herc on your tea day? You can. Depends on how much herc you're using throughout the week. Okay. If you're feeding every single time with herc, you really don't need to add it. To because you're just that's your day to break that stuff down, and you're going to get it through that kind of mode of action of breaking it down. Breaking it down. There's also the calcium inside the easy teas. Okay. Um, however, if you're you know one shot user and you don't use a lot of liquid herc, uh -huh. so you use herc once a week, once okay. every other okay. week. I uh -huh. mean, you want to put the herc inside your teas. Okay. And that if you're going you. with some kind of a um, amended soil amended kind of situation, soils type, not using okay. the liquids all the time. I got gotcha. you. So, um, how does trigger fit into this scenario? Well, we made trigger to prime the plant with calcium amino acids. So, so, so it's a similar, it's a, it's like it's a different thing, but a similar action. Right. It has the similar idea of these two. Okay. Where we're providing another source of calcium, we're providing another source of amino acids. Okay. Um, this amino acid from nectar comes from pig skin and pig hooves, and this uh -huh. calcium source from Demeter's comes from uh, uh, milk. Okay. Um, so it's just. Two different sources. Our calcium comes from calcium carbonate that's dissolved no, in amino acids. Okay. And then we also have pure amino acids in there from organic soybeans. So it's just a different spectrum, again, of calcium and amino acids that aren't in the, ne in the nectar source. It's another So So when would I use this? Um, I would use this the day before I use uh, Bloom Chaos. Okay. And that as will, a foliar? As a, as a foliar or uh, as a root drench. Or it both? Just, it just, you can use both. Okay. Um, it just primes the plant with a whole bunch of calcium and, magne uh, calcium and amino acids. Okay. And so we use Trigger to prime the plant so when you're, say you're in late veg and you're foliar spraying Bloom Chaos, the day, day one I foliar spray Trigger, day two I foliar spray Bloom Chaos and it uses up all the Trigger that was used the day before. Okay. So I'm using this. Am I using it as a foliar? Am I using it as a root drench? Am I using it every day? Uh, depends on your, your what you're trying to do. Some people don't foliar spray at all and they only use it as a root drench. Okay. Some people foliar spray only with this. Some people use a foliar spray and then when they get into flower, they use it as a root drench. So Scott oh, explains okay. uh, Bloom Chaos as uh, if you spray it, it's going to reduce the spacing on your, your branching. Okay. If you drench it, it's going to elongate and cause the plant to grow bigger. Okay. So, but I would not use this as a foliar in flower. No, you about week three of flower, you'd stop foliar spraying. I would either I would either use it as a root drench or I would not use it as all. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's a personal preference into what you're going for kind of situation. Right. Exactly. Okay. And then um, 
full on, Megafoss, some of these other things I might be using as supplements that I use as part of my thing. How did those fit into, would you use more of those? Would you use less of those? How would they, they fit into that picture of if I'm pushing hard with Bloom Chaos and, and her? I would one, make sure you use Bloom Chaos by itself so it doesn't react with anything. Okay. Um, two, I would make sure that those products are either used in your teas or they're used in, in with your feeds also. Okay. Uh, full on reduces the amount of nutrients you need to use at one time so it allows everything to be used a little bit more efficiently. Okay. Uh, Megafoss breaks down bone meal, it breaks down different forms of phosphorus. Um, so it just depends on where you're using what. Okay, so if I'm foliaring with this, would I still be able to do my Pegasus? Would I still be able to do my full on or would I only be foliaring with this? I would only foliar spray with Bloom Chaos. Okay, so you would active, uh -huh. so just use it by itself. But on my other day, so like I do that on one day and then the next day I could I could do my full on or yeah. my Pegasus if I wanted to do that sort so of I thing. So I pick it up into three different sprays. Day okay. one would be like a nutritive spray. So it's like your trigger, uh -huh. it can be your full on. Um, okay. It can be your Kraken, it can be any of those okay. nutritive products you okay. can spray. Right. Day two would be Bloom Chaos. Okay. Day three would be like an IPM spray. Okay. And then they repeat that one, two, three, one, two, again. three, one, two, Every three, one, two, three. Okay. Uh -huh. Beautiful. I, I think that pretty well covers. I'm sure we'll have lots of questions. We'll yeah. get you on the TV from when you get back to Colorado and you can answer those questions. But you think that we're, we're, we're kind of handled on this thing? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, if you have any questions, please throw them down below. You know, ask, please ask about Bloom Chaos and let's start talking about more Bloom Chaos. Hot damn, Sam. Okay, that was fun. I think we covered it pretty well. But if you have any questions still, let me know in the comments. And uh, that's the show for today. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show.